Now this video is going to serve two purposes. Now the first purpose is to show you what a manometer looks like. That's the device that this is right in front of here. And what that's used for is used for measuring vacuum. I'm going to move in on it now. Um, and I'm going to try to mount this camera back on the stand here. And I'm going to zoom in on the section that I want to show you. And which is right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how much vacuum it takes to collapse a well-built pneumatic. You can see this. See this pneumatic here. There it is right there. And I'm going to suck on a little hose that I have connected to a T fitting right here, which goes up to the top of the manometer. And I'm gonna suck on it till it till it's fully collapsed. And my hose connection just came undone. So we'll connect the hose up again. Try it again. And the way that a manometer is read is that for one, for every one inch of deviation on the ruler, you have two inches of vacuum. So it was right at uh, three quarters of an inch, which means that it took one and a half inches of vacuum to collapse the pneumatic. You can also uh, use weight. Um, I also I took a uh, a 20 gram weight and placed it right here, and I found that a 20 gram weight um, caused the pneumatic to collapse just as far as one and a half inches of vacuum. So if you have a little 20 gram weight, uh, that's another way to test it. It's also kind of interesting to note that I'm going to close off that where I was sucking the air and you'll also notice that there's back pressure when you uh, that, uh, that the bellow will actually create a small amount of vacuum you can actually notice how the as the water column is moving up and down, the bellow is following suit there. <laughs> 